मैं सर डॉक्टर के विश्वनाथ आलम राजू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनाटिकल इंजीनियरिंग जिंदीगढ़ हैदराबाद टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू ड्रा ए कैम प्रोफाइल विथ ए नाइफ एज फॉल ओवर वेन द फॉल ओवर इज हैविंग ए मोशन ऑफ सिंपल हारमोनिक ड्यूरिंग आउट स्ट्रोक एंड यूनिफॉर्म वेलास्टिक मोशन ड्यूरिंग रिटर्न स्ट्रोक इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन वी हैव स्टडीड same data with a knife edge follower but the follower motion is simple harmonic motion during out stroke and return stroke in another session we have studied we have learned how to draw a cam profile it's the same data of having a simple harmonic motion having un- same knife edge follower and having uniform velocity during return out stroke and return strokes now in this case the motion of the follower is simple harmonic motion during out stroke and uniform velocity during return stroke and what is that assumption the assumption is that in this the axis of the follower the axis of the follower is passing through is passing through the center of the cam through the center of the cam so with that assumption but it is not offset follower it is the motion of the follower or the axis of the follower is passing through the center of the cam so let us begin to draw the cam profile we have to do first we have to draw the displacement diagram with the given data the out stroke is mentioned here 120 degrees and dwell during out stroke that equal to 60 degrees and return stroke is 120 degrees and return stroke during dwell it is remains the angle that is 360 minus the sum of our stroke angle of rotation and dwell out uh, dwell during out stroke and return stroke angle of rotation then it become that is the 60 degree that is 360 minus sum of 120 plus 60 plus 120 that is 300 360 minus 300 equal to 60 degree the lift of the stroke of the follower or the lift of the follower is mentioned here that is 6 cm that is 60 mm now we are going to one more important data is that given basic radius of the cam that is minimum radius of the cam that is the minimum radius of the cam is 5 cm minimum radius of the cam equal to 5 cm so to draw the displacement diagram with the given motion of the followers take a scale we have to draw x axis and y axis axis x that is cam rotation that is 1 cm we consider that is 20 degrees equal to 1 cm then the out stroke angle of rotation becomes the linear square of 6 cm and dwell during out stroke becomes that is 60 degrees cam rotation 60 degree that means each 20 degrees 1 cm that is 60 degrees means 3 cm next return stroke equal to that is 120 degrees of cam rotation that is on scale that is 6 cm again remaining period that is remaining dwell return stroke during dwell is the remaining angle that is 60 degrees that also becomes how many centimeters 3 centimeters okay thus we have to do it this is the angle in, that is for dimensions of x axis of a displacement diagram and what about axis y the y axis it comes the category of the y on the y axis we have to use the stroke of the follower the stroke of the follower mentioned 
in the data that is 6 centimeters. So, what is the length of the x axis? The length of the x axis is the sum of the lengths of outstroke, outstroke during dwell, dwell during outstroke, return stroke, uh, return stroke plus dwell during return stroke. That is total 6 centimeters. 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 6, 15 plus 3, 18. Total 18 centimeters line we have to draw on x axis and y axis it is the 6 centimeters. So take a square, try a straight line with a length of 6 centimeters. And y axis you draw a length of it is a length of it is 6 centimeters. That is the stroke of the follower. Next. Next, complete with the same rectangle that it is the rectangle that is axis x axis length is 6 centimeters that is 18 centimeters total and axis y is 6 centimeters. So, divide this 18 centimeters into the number of parts, the number of the equal parts are not equal parts, the parts of given cam angle rotation. The outstroke is 6 centimeters. That is theta outstroke that equal to 6 centimeters 120, 120 degree. Theta outstroke dwell that is 60 degree that is 3 centimeters. Theta return stroke that is 120 degree. Theta return remaining dwell that is 3 centimeters. So divide this. Then draw a straight lines by coinciding. These are the points. This is the angle theta o 120 degrees of cam rotation. That 120 degrees of cam rotation is converted into the linear scale that is 6 centimeters. For the 6 centimeters, how much the cam will be lifted? The lifts total, how much? For each angle, it turns, turns, and lifts maximum position of this is the maximum lift of the follower. That is, that was given is 6 centimeters is the stroke. 6 centimeters during rise outstroke and it will be there for some angle of rotation of the cam that is 60 degrees after the 60 degree it returns to original back and again it will be there some ideal condition for the cam rotation of 60 degrees after 60 degrees it again rises the follower 60 degrees rotation after 60 degree rotation of the cam that is return stroke dwell during return like that it goes up and down for while the cam rotates Okay, so in this cam rotation, there are two dwell period, dwell times are there. That is during outstroke dwell and also return stroke dwell. The outstroke dwell is 60 degree and also coincidentally return stroke dwell also 60 degrees. So the dwell angle of rotation is total during outstroke and return stroke is total 120 degrees. And remaining 240 degrees, the cam will go move, the follower will move up and down. And it is for tot for 60 degrees and 60, 120 degrees, the follower remains stable, doesn't move, neither up nor goes down. So, after doing this, what to do next step is, we have to divide the outstroke and return stroke parts, partitions into even number of parts. You can divide into 6 parts, 4 parts. Or uh, 8 parts and 12 parts also, but it should be equal sections. So divide into equal number of parts. This is equal 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, return also divide into 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Equal number of parts you divide. Now the point is that. The cam is having a rotation that during outstroke, it is having the motion of simple harmonic motion and the return stroke having uniform velocity motion. That is very important. So it is not same uniform velocity. It again, the, the follower during ascent or during outstroke, it is simple harmonic motion. During return stroke, it is a uniform velocity motion. Now, how to draw? For drawing simple harmonic motion, 
what to do we have to divide the part or we have to divide the vertical portion into uh, equal that means that uh, center we have to draw a center line this is the center line to draw a uh, simple harmonic motion uh, displacement curve so outer stroke this is the portion so what to do after drawing a center line so take a dot this is the center line point draw a circle semi circle with this radius the radius is 3 cm with this draw a semi circle so divide this semi circle into equal number of the parts even number of parts already divided the same number of out stroke and return strokes the out stroke is divided into six parts so that the angle this semi circle should be divided into six number of equal parts so 180 by 6 so it becomes how much 30 degree equal equal number of parts if it is 30 30 again so equal number of parts draw a radial lines passing through this okay now this is the semi circle then after drawing semi circle with the help of protractor divide this semi circle into equal number of even number of parts there is six six equal parts the six equal parts 180 by 6 that is 3 30 30 30 This is the first point. Thirteen, thirty plus thirty, sixteen. Sixty plus thirty, ninety. Ninety plus thirty, one twenty. One twenty plus thirty, one fifty plus thirty, one eighty. So these are the equal parts. So join these equal parts, these equal dots, with the radial lines. Okay, divide these radial lines. Okay, then what to do? these radial lines you mark it with the numbers the numbers are now the out stroke is divided that is 0 1 to 3 numbers similarly the semi circle of the simple harmonic motion that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 now join in 1 to one line vertical line 2 to two, two vertical lines and three of radial lines this 3 to 3 and 4 Five to five, and it is six. So after marking these points, join these dotted already marked points with the horizontal lines with a smooth curve. This curve is the simple harmonic motion displacement curve of a follower. Here the follower is the knife edge follower. Then divide this, mark the points, join the line. Okay. This is during which stroke? It is during uh, outer stroke. The simple uh, the follower is having the motion of simple harmonic motion. Okay. Now it is a return stroke. It is uniform velocity during outer stroke. Is SHM the motion of the follower? and the return stroke it is uniform velocity now for this uniform velocity the motion of the follower that means it becomes a straight line so join this point to up to 12th point direct straight line okay this is the complete line so this curve is the displacement curve of the follower during out stroke it is shm and the return stroke it is uniform velocity this curve so that is the curve okay now after that this is called as known as this complete graph this diagram is known as the displacement diagram of a follower during a cam rotation and the follower having a motion of simple harmonic during out stroke and uniform velocity during return stroke now we have to draw 
a cam profile now take a compass with the radius of uh, with a radius of 5 cm because they mentioned the minimum radius of the cam is 5 cm so take 5 cm and draw a circle this is the circle after drawing the circle here the axis of the follower is passing through the center of the cam so this is the starting point now divide this circle having 360 degree this is 360 degree should be divided into the partitions of outstroke angle or dwell during outstroke and return stroke angles and theta rd that means dwell during return stroke so what is the partition sir this is partition completely this part is the outstroke angle that is 120 degree next this is theta od and remaining another portion is there this portion is theta return stroke that is 120 degrees here 120 degree next outward stroke that is 60 degrees again it is 120 the remaining angle that is theta return d during that is dwell during return strokes that is 60 degrees so the 360 degrees are divided into four parts in that first part is return out, out stroke angle that is 120 degrees and second it is continuation the continuous that dwell during out stroke that is 60 degrees and return stroke angle is 120 degree dwell during return stroke is 60 degrees next out stroke should be divided into how many parts the out stroke angle that is called angular divisions we have to divide this angle 120 degrees into equal number of angular parts so the way number of parts we divided here in the displacement diagram the out stroke is six parts so same six partitions should be made for this out stroke angle on the circumference of a base circle of a cam now these are the this is equal parts so 120 by 6 that 120 by 6 that is each part is 20 degrees partition so divide and mark with the letters 1 2 3 4 5 6 similarly you can also divide the return stroke of the part of a cam this is a base circle into equal parts that is 6 that is 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so the other radial lines okay now after that what to do we have to measure the vertical distances of the intersecting curve the displacement curve to the distance to x axis that is cam rotation and mark the same length on these radial lines okay now here we are going to take this is the point one this intersecting point i am taking as a point two intersecting point with b three to c four to distance that is 4d 5e 6f similarly 6f 7g 8 to intersecting 8 to h 9 i 10 to j 11 to k and 12 now we have to take the distance from from the displacement diagram 1 to a take 1 to a distance this 1 to a here cursor is moving this 1 to a distance and with the help of the compass this is the center one on the circumference on the circumference of base circle of a cam keep with the help of compass 1 to a this is point a next 
take a vertical distance from the displacement diagram 2 to B, point 2 to point B. This is the distance 2 to B. Again, come back to the base circle, radial line. This is the point 2, mark point B. Similarly, 3 to C, 3 to C, take a distance, again 3 on radial line and it is C. And 4 to D, again take a distance and it is D. 5 to E, take a distance from displacement diagram, vertical distance of 5 to E. Again, this is the line point 5 to E. Similarly, from 6 to F, this is the distance 6 to F. Come here and 6, it is F. Next, next to go for similarly return stroke. What is the return stroke is 6 to, six to F. This is the 6 and maybe approximately it may be F. And again, 7 to G distance, you take it. 7.7 .7 from on the base circle of the cam, 7 to G. Again, from coming to displacement diagram, H to H distance. Coming back to our base circle of your cam, there's a point 8 to H distance, mark it. Similarly, 9 to I distance, point 9 to I. 10 to J, the point 10, mark 10, that is the J. Next, 11 to K, this is the 11 to K approximately, and it is 12, this is the 12 point. Now, join all these points with a smooth curve. That curve represents or shows the cam profile or profile of a cam for a given conditions. Now join smooth curve by touching these all the points. This profile, the shape of a points traced, joining the trace of no curve, that is known as a cam profile. Okay. Now, the shape of the cam will be visible like that. So what is the circle here? This is the minimum radius of the cam. That is the minimum radius of the cam. The minimum radius of the cam is the reference. On that, from that reference, we have drawn the cam profile. Now we can see the shape of the cam in before sessions, what you have drawn for complete uniform velocity during return stroke and outstroke, or it is a complete SHM during outstroke and return strokes. If you compare with those shape of the cams with this cam, the cam here it is during outstroke, it is simple harmonic motion, and during return stroke, the motion of the cam is uniform velocity. Out for that, we have drawn, what we have done is that, with that we have drawn, with those conditions, we have drawn the profile of a cam. So the profile of a cam, uh, the output of the cam will be uh, visible like this shape. But we have to use instrument, I have used here, uh, I used here with uh, freehand, 
But finally, the curve should be drawn freehand. Even though we may be using instruments during drawing a radius of the circle, base circle radius, and for, dry, for dividing the outstroke into equal number of parts, we may use protractor. Uh, under drawing a radial lines, we may use a scale. But finally, we have to draw the cam profile with uh, free hand. And you can also draw with the help of a pro circle. The pro circle curves with the help of that, you can draw a smooth curve as much as possible. So, in this class, we have studied very important case of a drawing a cam profile. The follower of the cam is the knife edge follower, but the, during outstroke, the follower motion is a simple harmonic motion, and during return stroke, the follower motion is a uniform velocity motion. It is the combination of uh, variation that is during outstroke SHM and during return stroke uniform velocity. And the outstroke angle of rotation is 120 degree. It is having equal angles during outstroke and return stroke and also dwells also same angles that is 60 degree during outstroke dwell and also dwell during return stroke. So with those conditions and uh, the way one more thing is that we can interpret more whether it is exactly we have drawn the cam profile or not. So one more important thing is that the distance from the radial distance from center of the cam O to F is and and twelve. These both should be remains the same. Okay, six this O to F. We can, I am going to O, F and I am keeping for understanding these points, O, F dash, suppose. So, it is having a constant, okay, that distance should be remain same. So, the maximum, what is the maximum radius of the cam, you can understand here, the maximum radius of the cam, even though during lift, okay, what is the radius of the cam here, from this O to F distance. The O to F, O F distance is, it becomes 11 centimeters. Why it is 11 centimeters, O F distance radial line is? Because 6 to F is the stroke of the follower. 6 F, what is the stroke of the follower is? 6 centimeters. And O to 6 distance, what is the O to 6 distance? Is 5 centimeters. So, O F equal to O F equal to O26 plus 6 to F distance. O26 is 5 centimeters plus 6 to F is 6 centimeters. So 11 centimeters. So the minimum radius of the cam is 5 centimeters and the maximum radius of the cam is 11 centimeters. Okay. So like that we can validate. So we can define the distances from this O to F dash. So one more distance O F should be equal to O F dash. That O to F and O F dash are what? The dwell zone during outstroke. That's why return stroke happens at dwell time. The outstroke dwell is at the rise upward motion at the upward. This is the point of uh, knife edge follower during outstroke is the max zone. At that time dwell. Dwell zone will be on the top during outstroke and return stroke the dwell zones are below. This is a dwell zone of outstroke. This is the outstroke dwell zone. Dwell period during outstroke. This is the zone of dwell during return stroke. At return stroke, it is a dwell. Okay. And the curve traced by, this is the portion of SHM curve. It is a straight line. We can see by naked eye. We can see directly by inspection, by visual inspection, you can tell what type of displacement curve. If it is a straight line, you can understand the uniform velocity curve. If it is a curve traced, this is a, this some curvature is there, that is this SHM curve. So by practice, we can, by seeing visual, visual inspection or visually, you can find out uh, that whether the displacement, whether the displacement curve is SHM curve or uniform velocity curve. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.